My son was diagnosed with autism when he was four, four and a half years old. I was upset. I was not interested even to go out just because she is like this. People were laughing at us wherever we go. We have been struggling since then. I was so anxious thinking about my child's future. Neurodevelopmental disorders are basically dysfunctions which are caused by neurological origin. And it affects a person during the developmental period. It's so important to identify these children at an early stage. The changes will be imminent if we carry out the intervention and treatment as early as possible. It was at this time, breast magician Gopinath Mudgad came with a new, unique and mind-blowing idea. In 2017, Magic Academy, in association with the government of Kerala, provided voluntary training in magic for 23 differently able children with the aim of bringing them to the forefront of the society. They were successfully trained in magic and formed a performance team named Empower. The Empower children have completed more than 1,000 stage performances, including Middle East. Empower is also entered into the India Book of Records. While nobody thought it would happen, it actually did happen, and 23 children got trained. In the initial days itself, change was very palpable. They put up a show without making a single mistake in front of the vice president at that time. These children from Empower team underwent a physical, psychological and psychosocial assessment by the expert team from Child Development Centre. And uh, we could interim report, uh, we could find that many children are improving so much. It is basically based on the concept of plasticity. Uh, when they find that it is being appreciated by others, their confidence levels go up. I can see such a lot of change, even, even I can see it, you know, Visibly, there's so much change. Amazed by the assessment results, Magic Academy has put forward its next initiative, Building and Development of Different Arts Centre, that is DAC. DAC is world's first of its own kind, where 100 differently able children are selected who are talented in different forms of art and are trained. They have been assessed for baseline assessment and their progress is being monitored in uh, regular intervals. So that we can come out with a global model. We did assess the baseline biopsychosocial levels and functional levels of these children before they started the training in DAC. Now we carry out periodic assessment uh, to see the changes happening in them. Here they have very uh, friendly environment, open air environment, conducive environment, which is nurturing their talents. The emotional uh, positivity of these children, uh, that has increased tremendously. I think it's necessary to scale up the program to try and get not only more children coming in or young adults coming in, but also to look at a program by which the existing talent can be brought to much higher levels than the levels at which they are performing today. As they continue their training, they showcase their talents in front of the audience where they are motivated. Icon's assessments show that there is a phenomenal improvement in the domains of adaptive and maladaptive behaviors. Within a short period of time, they have changed a lot. Some were violent at home, some were rude and aggressive to parents. It's all changed. They have started dealing with parents gently, started involving in household activities. I'm sure my daughter will definitely be improving as the time goes. I feel more secure than before. I'm happy, so happy. There are so many children and adults who are still in this condition and our effort is how do we actually do things for all these intellectually disabled so that they live a life of dignity. My mind is elated and I feel nothing has been worthless. They are trained here, they showcase their talents here and they earn their living from here.